The Alaska State Senate passed a bill that, among other things, allows municipalities to exempt property taxes on new buildings. Some lawmakers also believe it will help create tax incentives to increase development. And the bill is now heading to the House. CS for Senate Bill 77, Committee and Regional Affairs, as amended, has passed the Senate. SB 77 passed with amendments by a vote of 13 to 6, with six Republicans voting against it. Currently, property tax abatements are capped at the lowest level required to fund public schools, but SB 77 allows municipalities to exempt new buildings from those taxes and would require municipalities to make up the difference elsewhere. The bill also allows cities to levy what are called blight taxes, which are placed on old, abandoned, or unsafe buildings until they are repaired or renovated. State Senator Forrest Dunbar, who proposed SB 77, says the bill will incentivize new construction and reduce the number of blighted buildings. Used to illustrate our need to build a more attractive state for young families and investments. SB 77 will help local governments work towards those goals. Those development incentives, I think, really work for all of Alaska, and I think it's another step we can take in making Alaska ready and open for business. But the bill didn't pass without opposition. I believe that our measures should be to help protect and not to um, put a property owner in risk of eventually um, that property possibly being taken from them if the taxes are such that they cannot pay them. One part that caused disagreement was a section that leaves the definition for a blighted building up to the municipality. That spurred some amendments. With this amendment, an owner-occupied property could not be subject to a blight tax, but others could. Dunbar maintains that there are protections within the bill, as well as an appeals process included to protect property owners. The purpose of this measure is to get some of our worst properties, sometimes control controlled by out-of-state landowners, cleaned up or on the market and into the hands of owners and developers who will do that remediation work. The Alaska House of Representatives Committee on Community and Regional Affairs will discuss the bill in a meeting on Thursday. Lex Overton, Alaska's news source.